If you're like me, one of the biggest challenges during the quarantine is not being able to get the kids' hair cut. Now, if you don't have the proper tools, head out to the workshop. We'll show you how it's done. Hi, I'm Doug, and this is my son, Finn. Say hi. Hello. One of the worst things about this quarantine is keeping our kids' hair looking good. Notice how his hair is just absolutely a mess. His mom likes it when there's a clean fade on this side. So what I'd like you to do is go out and get yourself some of your painter's tape. I'm using the thick stuff. doesn't necessarily need to be this thick. But, uh, what do you mean don't actually put it on you? This is how it's done. No, no, just stay no. here. Turn, turn so we can get it. So no. we want this a straight line here. So I'm just going to put this right along there. Oh, no. And that's going to mark our spot. No, no. Looks good. Okay, so in order to make sure we get an even cut on both sides of his head, you're going to want to use your miter saw with a stop block. That way we'll know if it's an even set. So Finn, can you put your nose right here? I just want to line this up. Okay, you know what? This isn't going to be a big enough board. Stay right there. Hold on one second. Okay, this should do it. Okay, my workshop's a little messy. Sorry about that. Nice and tight. Oh, I know. Okay, once the guard's out of the way, that'll work perfect. Okay, so again, make sure your head is firmly against your stop block. Let's get your head in there. Okay. I don't think any of my clients are big enough. So stay real still, son. Okay, let's take a look. Looks pretty good. Now the second part's a little more uncomfortable for your child, but just reassure them, this won't take long. Okay, I just need you to carefully lean back up, head back. Again, make sure it's snug up against the fence. Stay still. Pretty good, let's see. Now see, because I had that on there, I was able to line up and get right up next to that tape. Finn, do you want to tear off the, the tape? Go quicker, it's gonna hurt. Nice, look at that line. So I got the next idea for doing the top from my bandsaw handbook with patterns when I noticed that my push stick for my table saw was just about the same size as Finn's head. So we're going to use that. We're just going to strap this to his head like this. We're going to come across table saw is not safe for this, and especially with the curve. So we're going to use the band saw over here. Stick with me. So first thing is to clamp the template to his head in the proper position. So Finn, if you want to look towards the wall, just get down there. Get the approximate size first. You can just slide it right on there. And then you want to tighten it down. Looks good. Okay, make sure to set your fence height all the way up. You need the room for the head. You might be a little jumpy. It'll be okay. And then just slide his head slowly, carefully, following the shape of the pattern. I think that just might do it. Okay, looks like that worked pretty well. Finn, stand on up. Let's show them how we did. Oh yeah, that looks good. Perfect to the pattern. A number one. Now we gotta do the back. For that, think belt sander. In order to do the back of his head, we gotta use something different. The saws are much too dangerous. Since we did the side of his head already, I did have him put on these uh, protective gear. 
and we're gonna hit them up with the belt sander. When you're doing this, it allows you to get a nice clean shape. We could have used a, a palm sander, but I think the belt sander does a better job. So then just stay right there and don't move. You gotta put a little bit of pressure in there to make sure you get a good chip uh, and really get it close to the head. So you might have to go ahead and do a little cleanup the first couple times you're not used to it, but then give them a sh Sorry, I don't need that on anymore. Sh show them how we did. Let's see how we did. Stand up. So I was able to get a nice fade in here, and the only thing left is to do a little bit of cleanup around the back of his head. To do that nice clean line around the back of his head, um, we're going to leave his ear muffs on, we're going to put mine on. And I find that the best tool for this is just your casual grinder. You might have uh, different things, but I find this does a really nice job. Stay real still here, buddy. That's going to look real nice. And you can see we were able to get a real nice clean edge there using the grinder. Leaves a little bit of a red mark, but that'll come out over time. Kind of hard to focus there. There we go. Looks good. Final thing, just to get them nice and clean, so you don't have to go up and shower or anything, because do you like to shower? No. Dust collector again, does a real good job of getting all that loose hair out. So that's a nice, simple way to do haircuts at home if you don't have haircutting equipment. You don't need that stuff. You know what tools I do. How do you think you look, Finn? Hey, I can't see. Stop moving. What do you think? There's, there's a couple hairs sticking out, but otherwise really good. You can never make them totally happy. But it's not too bad. Good job, buddy. And remember, stay safe out there.